This is Business Week Armenia, Civilnet's weekly economic digest. Here's what's making business headlines in Armenia this week. The government of Armenia is partnering with the artificial intelligence startup Firebird and chipmaker NVIDIA to launch a $500 million AI data center and supercomputer in the country. In a press release last week, Firebird, which bills itself as a San Francisco and Yerevan-based cloud company, said the public-private partnership marks a defining moment for Armenia's technology sector. The initiative, the first of its kind for the entire Caucasus region, will help build the capacity to incubate the next generation of innovators in Armenia, Firebird co-founder and CEO Razmik Hovagimian was quoted as saying. Jensen Huang, founder and CEO of NVIDIA, which plans to contribute thousands of chips to power the project, added, this will help build foundational AI capacity and unlock new opportunities for innovation and economic growth across the region. Praise also poured in from Armenian and U.S. officials. Armenian Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan, who was quoted in Firebird's press release as calling the project a major step toward strengthening our tech sector and global partnerships, while high-tech industry minister Mekhitar Hayrabetyan said in a Facebook post he expects the initiative to radically change the technological map of our region. For her part, Christina Kvin, the U.S. ambassador to Armenia, said she was proud that U.S. companies are the partners of choice for Armenian counterparts. Technical support for the half-billion-dollar project will come from Team Group, Armenia's largest telecommunications company and its Irish subsidiary Imagine. Our participation reflects our readiness to make Armenia a global center for information technologies, artificial intelligence solutions, and the digital future, team co-founder Alexander Yesayan said in a separate statement. In addition, Nubara Feyan, co-founder of the biotechnology firm Moderna, will join Firebird as a founding investor and strategic advisor for the initiative. The development of AI infrastructure for Armenia and the broader region is a bold step toward positioning the country as a meaningful contributor in the global AI landscape, the press release quoted Afeyan as saying. Observers say the project underscores the global ambitions of Armenia's dynamic information technology sector and highlights the growing role of high-powered diasporans like Hovagimian and Afeyan in the country's economy. The initiative also reflects the increasingly international nature of Armenia's upstar IT scene, with NVIDIA already running an office and research center in the country that employs hundreds of young staffers. Specific terms for the project, particularly with regard to the Armenian government's role, have yet to be made public. However, Armenia is known for providing generous tax incentives, subsidies, and streamlined regulatory processes to attract and retain top tech talent. In other business news, you can check out our latest deep dive into the evolution of Armenia's role as a conduit bringing Russian gold to the world. Beginning in 2023, Russia began shipping large amounts of gold, as well as diamonds, to China, Hong Kong, and the United Arab Emirates through Armenia to get around global sanctions imposed in response to its full-scale invasion of Ukraine. By last year, re-exports of Russian gold accounted for almost half of Armenia's total exports. Economy Minister Gevork Papoyan told lawmakers at a hearing last week. That trade slowed dramatically after changes last year to Russia's export policy diminished producers' need to use Armenia as an intermediary, but concerns over tax transparency, uneven economic growth, and sanctions compliance remain. Instead of strengthening Armenia's position in global markets, this has made it even more vulnerable to geopolitical and currency shocks. It has created the illusion of growth while eroding the system's capacity for long-term development, former finance minister Vardan Aramian told Civilnet. For more, you can find our full write-up on our website at civilnet.am or through the link in the video description below. And as always, please follow Civilnet for the latest news and independent reporting from our contributors on the ground here in Armenia.